Hello there, my precious brother, my sister, and my dear friend. I thank and praise God for this wonderful opportunity to share God's word with you once again. Oh, God is a good God. God loves you. Jesus loves you. I am telling you, my brother, sister, friend, I am telling you, Jesus loves you. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, 5 to 9, Bible says like this, You shall love Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. These words which I command you today shall be on your heart and you shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise up. You shall bind them for a sign on your hand and they shall be for frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. You see, God is telling us how we should love him. He says that you shall love Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. In other words, God says that with our body, with our spirit, with our soul, we should love the Lord. In our thoughts, in our words, in our deeds, we should love the Lord. That's what God says. And God is expecting us to teach these things to our children as well. When we sit, when we walk, when we lie down, when we rise up, we need to teach our children diligently. You got it? God expects us to do that. And in the book of Matthew, chapter 22, 37 to 40, says like this. Jesus said, You shall love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. Second one, likewise, is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. You see, loving God and loving men is what Christianity is all about. Loving God and loving men. That's it. God says that the first commandment is loving God. That is a great commandment, he says. The next one, which is likewise, which is similar, what he says is this, loving men. And he says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. He is brother. He is sister. He is my friend. God says that. God expects us to do like that. Yes. You know how you love yourself. You know how you take care of yourself. God is telling us, same way you need to take care of your neighbor as well. You see, we feel hungry. We feel thirsty. We feel tired. We have needs same way the neighbor also needs that. And God says that in your capacity, whatever possibly you can do, you should do. God says that. And in John chapter 14 verse 23, God says like this, what is loving God? God gives a definition here. Jesus answered, if a man loves me, he will keep my word. You see? If a man loves me, he will keep my word. My father will love him and we will come to him and we will make our home with him. You see, how wonderful it is. You see, God says that if a man loves me, he will keep my word. My father will love him and we will come to him and make our home with him. Jesus and the father will live in our hearts when, when we put God's word, the Holy Bible, into practice. Yes, my brother. Loving God is nothing but following God's word. Believing, obeying the Bible is nothing but loving God. That's what God says. And we are supposed to do that. Every day, read a chapter from Proverbs. Proverbs has got 31 chapters. Every day, today is 10th. Read the 10th chapter in Proverbs. Every day, one chapter from Proverbs. Keep on reading that. Keep on doing that. And one from the Old Testament. Start from Genesis. And one from the New Testament. Start from Matthews. Until the end. Every day. Make it a practice. Know what God 
wants to tell you. Know what God wants to tell you by yourself. Just if you have your Bible, go through your Bible. If not, buy a Bible. Buy a Bible. Read it. Meditate it. Memorize it. Apply it in your life. Share with others as well. And in the book of Romans, chapter 8, 28, God says like this, what will happen when we love God? That's what God says here. We know that all things work together for good for those who love God, for those who are called according to His purpose. God says that all things, good, bad, ugly, all things, all things work together for good for those who love the Lord. The key is this, my brother. When you love God, God will turn your losses into gain. He will turn your sickness into strength. He will turn your darkness into light. He will turn your curses into blessing. Only God can do that. Only God can do that. And God promises here. And God gives us the key. How we can achieve by simply loving Him. What is loving God? But Nothing but putting God's word into practice. Yes, brother. Yes, sister. Yes, my friend. And God says in the book of First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, It is written, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no heart has perceived what God has prepared for those who love Him. You see? God has awesome surprise for everyone who loves God. Yes, brother. Yes, sister. Yes, friend. Our life on earth is very short. Very soon we'll be gone. Yes, every one of us. We all have to go one day. But that is not end of our existence. It is just the beginning of God promised life, my brother. Yes. In Philippians 3.20, he says that our conversation is in heaven. God has prepared a wonderful place in heaven for everyone who loves him who believes Him, who obeys Him, who follows Him. God has promised and God will do it one day. So loving God is nothing but believing the Bible, obeying the Bible. You should believe it, you should obey it. You should put Bible into practice. And God says that two things, one thing, the great commandment, what Jesus said was this, to love God with all our body, with all our soul, with all our spirit. In the sense, in our thoughts, in our intentions, in our words, in our deeds, in our behavior, we should love God. And the next one he says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Yes, brother. So, now you know what is loving God all about. Our God is a good God. God loves you. Jesus loves you. Yes, brother. Yes, sister. Yes, my friend. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Brother, sister, friend. In case, if this video blessed you, please share. Bless others as well. Our God is a good God. Until we meet again, may God be with you. Hallelujah. Amen.